So, in this model, uh, we will discuss the moments and the inequalities. So, we plan to give a three lectures in this model. So, the first lecture we will discuss the first two moments mean and variance and then the second lecture we discuss the higher order moments and the moment inequalities and in the third lecture we will discuss uh, three uh, important uh, generating functions that is a uh, probability generating function, moment generating function and characteristic function. Moments and inequalities, uh, it is a very important topic in the uh, probability or in particular a random variable because uh, most of the time finding the distribution of the random variable is a tedious task or it is very difficult uh, to find out the distribution of the random variable. But uh, it is easy to compute or easy to find the value of the mean or uh, expectation that is basically the first order moment. Similarly, finding the variance that is uh, of the second order moment that is also easy comparing to the finding the distribution of the random variable. Therefore, in the probability theory course, we discuss the distribution first, then we discuss the moments, then later at the end of the course, uh, how much the moments are going to play an important role when uh, we are going to use uh, central limit theorem for uh, approximating some of the random variable into normal distribution with some conditions. So, in that place, uh, the moments are playing an important role and also the moments is the easy uh, measures, it is easy to compute in the real world problems, not the distribution. Once you know the distribution, if the moments exist, we are going to tell the existence of the moments. If the moments exist, we can always uh, find it. If you know the moments of uh, many order, then you can uh, able to identify what could be the distribution of that random variable. That means, uh, for a random variable, if the moments exist, we can able to find. Through the moments of uh, some unknown random variable, it is uh, possible to fit the correct distribution for that uh, moments matches. So, in that way, I am going to <coughs> introduce uh, this uh, model that is uh, moments and uh, inequalities. In these lectures, we start teaching uh, first uh, mean and uh, variance. Mean is the first order moment and the variance is the second order moment. Then we discuss uh, higher order moments. And also, we discuss uh, moment uh, inequalities. And the third, we discuss uh, generating functions. So, in this model, we are going to have a three lectures first on mean and variance second higher order moments and uh, moment inequalities, third generating functions. Now, we will move into the first topic uh, that is called mean and variance. This is a very important uh, measures. So, let me start with the definition of uh, mean. There is another name for mean that is called expectation. In many times, we use find the value of average of some n values. That is also going to be sort of mean and expectation with some conditions of that random variable. So, that we are going to discuss little later. So, as it is, now I am going to write mean or expectation. Let x be a 
random variable rv means a random variable defined on the probability space omega e of capital P. If x is a discrete type random variable with values x 1, x 2 and so on, it is said that x has an expected value if the summation in absolute of x i's over the i's and the probability of x takes the value x i if this summation is finite quantity. In such a way, the expected value that is denoted by E of x, the expected value of the random variable x denoted by E of x is defined as E of x that is same as the summation over x i probability of x equal to x i summation over i. What we are saying is uh, whenever you have a random variable defined on the probability space omega e of p if it is a discrete type random variable whose values are x i is x 1 x 2 and so on. It is said that x has the expected value if uh, the summation over absolute of x i is multiplied by probability of x equal to x i has a finite value. Why the absolute is uh, there is a possibility the x i could be positive or negative. So, in the absolute sense uh, if it is going to be finite without the absolute that is going to be the expected value of the random variable provided in absolute sense that, that summation is a finite quantity. In other words, this is nothing but the series. You can think of a summation of x i e of x equal to x i as the a i s whatever you have studied in the calculus course. This series converges in absolute sense then without absolute sense uh, the similar series you made it uh, summation of x i with the probability of p is equal to x i that is going to be the expected value. If the series is convergence in absolute sense then it is uh, going to be convergence here. So, we are using the calculus uh, sequence uh, convergence concept uh, to conclude expected value of a discrete random variable exists. So, now I am going for if the random variable x is a continuous type. If x is a continuous type random variable with the probability density function is f of x, it is said that x has a, the expected value if the integration minus infinity to infinity absolute of x f of x dx is finite quantity. In this case, in this case 
the expected value of the random variable x denoted by E of x is same as integration minus infinity to infinity x times f of x dx. Note that uh, integration minus infinity to infinity f of x dx is 1 because f of x is a probability density function. Whereas, here if uh, the integration absolute x f of x dx is a finite quantity, then you can say that the expectation expected value of the random variable x exists and that value is same as E of x it is a notation that is same as minus infinity to infinity x times f of x dx. So, the provided condition is very important if the provided condition is not satisfied even you get the value of uh, this uh, integration without absolute that is not going to be call it as a expected value. It is very important to conclude uh, in the absolute sense uh, the summation for a discrete type random variable integration in absolute sense for the continuous type random variable if it is a finite quantity without absolute sense that is going to be the expected value of the random variable. I am going to give uh, one example for a random variable in which the expectation does not exist and one or two examples for expectation exist. Example 1 let x be a continuous type random variable. with a probability density function f of x that takes a value 1 divided by pi times 1 plus x square where x lies between minus infinity to plus infinity the probability density function is 1 divided by pi 1 plus x square where x lies between minus infinity to plus infinity. You can verify whether this is a correct probability density function by integrating a f of x from minus infinity to plus infinity you will get the value 1 this is greater than or equal to 0 therefore, it is a probability density function of continuous type random variable. Now, you can compute a the integration from minus infinity to infinity absolute of x f of x dx. If you compute this quantity that is same as <coughs> 2 divided by pi it is a even function. So, 2 divided by pi 0 to infinity x divided by 1 plus x square dx. If you do the simple calculation you will come to the conclusion this quantity is going to be infinity. You can make it as a homework uh, computing this integration that is going to be infinity. So, since this quantity is going to be infinity you can conclude uh, expectation of x does not exist for this random variable. Even though you will get the value from minus infinity to infinity x times f of x dx for this problem, but since in absolute sense this integration value is infinite therefore, the mean does not exist. I will take a next example where expectation exists. Let x be a continuous type random variable with probability density function that is f of x is 2 times e power minus 2 x when x is lies between 0 to infinity otherwise it is 0.
you can verify this is a probability density function or not. So, if you integrate, you will get the value 1 and uh, between the interval 0 to infinity because from minus infinity to 0 it is 0 and it is a positive function. Therefore, uh, it is going to be a probability density function. Since the possible values of x is from 0 to infinity, you do not need to check whether uh, this is going to be a finite quantity in absolute sense. Uh, you can directly compute uh, if that is going to be a finite quantity then that is same as the expectation. Let us compute uh, minus infinity to infinity absolute of x f of x dx that is same as since f of x is going to be 0 between minus infinity to infinity. Therefore, this is same as 0 to infinity of x times f of x is 2 times e power minus 2 x dx that is same as if you do the simple calculation you will come to the answer that is 1 divided by 2. So, since this is going to be a finite quantity therefore, we can conclude expectation x that is going to be 1 by 2 because the f of x is going to be greater than 0 between the 0 to infinity. Therefore, in the absolute sense answer is finite that is same as without absolute also therefore, the expectation of x is same as 0 to infinity of x times f of x dx that is going to be 1 by 2. So, in this case the expectation exists for this continuous type random variable. Later we are going to say this random variable is a exponential distributed with the parameter 2 that we are going to discuss later. Therefore, the expectation of a exponential distribution random variable is a reciprocal of the parameter. So, here the parameter is 2 that is 1 divided by 2 it is an expectation for the random variable. We can go for one more example. Let x be a discrete type random variable with probability mass function is given by P of x that is 1 divided by n when x takes a value x 1, x 2 and x n that is going to be 0 otherwise. So, this is a probability mass function of a discrete type random variable with the possible values are x 1, x 2 and so on x n and this could be positive values or negative values or it could be 0 also. Okay. Now, we will find out whether expectation exists for this one. So, if you compute in absolute sense of x i probability of x equal to x i and summation over i. So, here it is a summation is a i is equal to 1 to n this is same as absolute of uh, x i's probability of x equal to x i is 1 by n i is equal to 1 to n. This is nothing but uh, 1 divided by n summation of uh, x i's. Since we have taken uh, all the possible values are from minus infinity to infinity, the summation of x i is that is also going to be finite quantity. Therefore, the expectation of x is going to be 1 divided by n summation of uh, x i is. This is going to be the expected value of the random variable x when x is a discrete type random variable with the probability mass function 1 by n for x i's or n values. 
but you know that uh, 1 divided by n summation of x i is uh, that is nothing but uh, average. So, whenever the random variable has a equal probable at a finite number of points, in that case the mean or expectation that is same as average. Later we are going to conclude this random variable is called a discrete type uniform distribution. That means, uh, for a discrete type uniform distribution the mean expectation that is same as average. That is what many times when you have a n values you make a average out of it. So, the average is uh, same as uh, considering that as a random variable whose probability is uh, same as uh, 1 divided by the total number of uh, information or total number of values. In that case a uh, mean and uh, or expectation that is same as the average. Now, we will uh, discuss a few important results for the mean as a remarks. The first remark the expectation of a constant is a constant. If you find the expectation or a mean for a constant that is going to be a constant. This result can be proved easily. You can treat a constant as a random variable whose probability is 1 taking only that value. Therefore, expectation of a constant is nothing but a constant times the probability of x takes the value constant that is 1. So, 1 into alpha therefore, it is alpha. It can be proved easily. As a second remark, suppose you have a some constant times random variable plus another constant here a and b are constants. In that case, just now we made it expectation of a constant is a constant, but here it is a linear combination and the constant can be taken out with the expectation of x plus expectation of a constant that is same as constant. That means, a expectation of a constant times random variable plus another constant is same as constant can be taken out third remark, if uh, probability of x greater than or equal to 0 that is 1, the unit mass is distributed between the interval 0 to infinity. In that case, if uh, expectation exists and the above two results also sorry above the second result also if the expectation exists then this is true. So, if E of x exist, then the expectation of x also going to be greater than or equal to 0. This intuitively also you can say, if uh, the probability of x is greater than or equal to 0 is 1 and uh, if uh, expectation x exist, then the expected uh, expectation or mean value of that random variable is also going to be greater than or equal to 0. This also can be proved with the from the definition the same way since whether you are going to use uh, x is a discrete type or continuous type or mixed type. You can use the similar same definition for the existence in the absolute sense then you can conclude uh, if it is exist then that value is going to be greater than or equal to 0. When I give the definition, I have given the definition for the expectation for a discrete type and the continuous type. I have not given the definition for mixed type, but the mixed type is the combination of a discrete and continuous. Therefore, wherever there is a mass, you can do the summation, wherever there is a density, you can do the integration. Therefore, the expectation formula is a combination of both the discrete and continuous. Therefore, I have not given the definition. The fourth remark, remark number 4, let x be a 
a random variable and y is equal to g of x is a random variable. This we discussed in the last model. x is a random variable, g is a Borel measurable function. In particular, you can think of a continuous or piecewise continuous function, therefore, y is also going to be a random variable. Then, you can find the expectation of g of x that is same as a summation of g of small x and the probability of x takes a value x summation over x. If the random variable x is a discrete type if x is a continuous type random variable minus infinity to infinity integration g of x f of x dx when x is a continuous type random variable. This can be proved provided the expectation exists, provided the expectation exists you can find the expectation value of a g of x with the summation if it is a discrete type with the integration if it is a continuous type. Why this result is very important is uh, you are not finding the distribution of g of x, but uh, with the help of the distribution of x you are finding the expectation of g of x provided it exists. Therefore, this is a very important result in the sense you do not need to find the distribution of a g of x whatever be the distribution of g of x as long as if it, it exists you can find the value of a expectation of g of x with the help of the distribution of x means uh, if it is a discrete type random variable if you know the probability mass function if it is a continuous type random variable the probability density function of x. You can find the expectation by the summation or the integration without knowing the distribution of uh, g of x. So, therefore, we will be using this property again and again whenever you want to find out the expectation of a function of random variable. Not only this definition similarly later we are going to introduce uh, many random variables or random vector of size n with the n random variables. There also you can go for the expectation of uh, functions of random variables in the similar way. Therefore, this is a very important result one can find it.